Especially if I don't want to make it good. I don't want to make it good. I take it old school and everybody drink out the same cup. So, yeah. Um, if I got some cups, I'll make sure I'm going to make it good. 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 I'm going to make it good.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup uh, is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in rem remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So then whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat the bread and drink from the cup. For those who eat and drink uh, without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment on themselves. That is why many among you are weak and sick, and the number of you have fallen asleep. Not literally. Um, but, <laughs> but if we were more discerning with regard to ourselves, we would not come under such judgment. Nevertheless, when we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined that we will not be that we will not be finally condemned with this world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you gather to eat, you shall all eat together. Anyone who is hungry should eat something at home, so that when you meet together, it may not result in judgment. Um, so yeah, just basically, like, kind of the right heart, heart, heart posture when taking this. Um, if you feel as if there is something like in your heart that doesn't feel right when you're about to take this communion, um, either like. If it's against somebody, like, you know, consider that maybe like talk to them. Like, if you literally have to go call them right now and like say like, hey, I really need forgiveness for this, or like, hey, like, will you please forgive me for this, or I'm so sorry, like, that this happened. Like, I want to clear this up first. Like, literally anything like that. Um, don't let that stand in the way of you taking communion if you are a believer. Um, things like that. Uh, if you need a moment just to like pray to like ask the Lord for forgiveness for some things that you. Uh, that's on your heart that you feel convicted about, like literally do so. Um, like you can sit anywhere, you can go outside, whatever. Um, but I strongly encourage you guys to at least like pray or be thinking about that when taking this because that is the like symbolism of taking communion. So, yeah. Here, um, do you want to all just take a moment, like pray to ourselves, and then at the end, like uh, one of us can pray for the bread and then one of us can pray for the cup, and then we can pass around. Who wants to pray for the bread? I'm not going to be greedy. I just spoke some of that somebody else. <laughs> Do that, you think? We're going to stand here in silence. I can pray for the bread. Who wants to pray for the cup? Who wants to pray for the cup? Alright, I'll just give y'all like a minute or so. Yeah, we'll, take a, we'll take a few minutes to yeah. pray. Do whatever. Let's remember the, the links that you took to save us. We talked about um, 
this at Summit, how it wasn't just, uh, hey, you're about to um, receive destruction type warning. It wasn't a, a light on the dash cam, Jesus, but it was, um, it was saved us from the pit of the ocean, Jesus, from the depths that we could not save ourselves. And your body was broken and baptized and um, used for healing others and used to proclaim um, God and the gospel that saved us from eternal life. Thank you for your body. God, I also thank you just for um, the blood that you uh, poured out, that your son poured out for us. Um, I just thank you for the uh, meaning behind it and the meaning behind the body too, what you're talking about. Um, and I pray that we can just um, take that seriously, just take that heart as we go into um, the rest of our lives. Um, and just so we can realize the impact that um, you had and you completely changed our lives, saved our lives. So I just pray that we can um, recognize the picture of um, your blood literally being poured out for us. Um, and we just appreciate that fact that um, you took on um, the cup of wrath that God has poured out on, um, onto you that should be poured out onto us so that we're um, the only ones living sinful lives that a life that you never experienced because you never experience God. So I just thank you for um, taking on that and um, being the perfect sacrifice, um, more perfect than any other um, sacrifice before you. I want to share before. <laughs> no, I was gonna do a song recommendation okay, before so. anything else. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Jesus. We should. I thought that was fitting. We gotta begin.
I thought I was like, can I? Oh, you got it. I was the first one to grab it when they did it. Just I texted Seth this morning at church. And he, he, well, I texted him. I said, uh, Seth Cutie, like from across the chapel. And then he said, I'm so excited to take communion with you, brother. And I said, Yeah, I'm, I'm so hungry. <laughs>